I don't know, Jake. I think they're taking too long. Let's just blow them up. This video is brought to you by Sportsman's Guide, your one-stop shop for all your outdoor needs. Check them out at www.sportsmansguide.com. Howdy folks, welcome to another video here at Ordnance Lab. We have Dustin from Top Shot Dustin here. And what we're gonna be doing, we already had some fun today with explosives and trees and yes, annihilate sir. them. Make sure to check out his channel. We had a good time with TNT and Ready Prime and a bunch of other fun stuff. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a little bit of Mythbusters kind of thing. A lot of folks seem to think that deck cord is really great for knocking down trees, especially in a field expedient manner. That if you need to put them down real quick, uh, I think it was the movie, um, We Were Soldiers, where mm -hmm. they cleared an LZ with that uh, deck cord. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a mini little LZ here to simulate that with a bunch of trees. And we're gonna run deck cord around all the trees and then tie them all together in one big shot. We'll also try it with a little bit of high explosives to see what happens. But we're gonna see whether we can actually reliably use deck cord to take down trees if we were going to actually make an LZ. Some of you might be familiar with the 2002 movie We Were Soldiers, starring Mel Gibson back when he wasn't so crazy. The movie depicts an air cab unit deep in battle during Vietnam. They use deck cord to clear an LZ so they can get helicopters in for resupply and evacuate wounded. To test this movie scenario, we picked a bunch of Wiesatch trees to be removed via explosive eviction. We wrapped them all with various lengths of deck cord to see if this movie theory would work for clearing an area of trees for a landing zone. This involved the rather lengthy process of going tree to tree and wrapping a ton of deck cord around each one. Sean, Dustin, and Brian, not Cody, got to work placing a ring of deck cord around each tree. The amount of deck cord varied from tree to tree to simulate a hasty placement while under a stressful situation like combat. The deck cord rings were then connected together with more deck cord. That way they all detonate from one point. Once done, we had a huge spider web of deck cord to see if this clearing method works. Now let's walk through the setup so you can see how this is going down. Here is the first charge where we will place the blasting cap and begin the party. It continues this way with these couple of trees well wrapped with a decent amount of deck cord. We eventually come to this nexus point where multiple charges converge. Over here is another node where the most amount of deck cord is wrapped. It also connects to other charges branching out, such as this one with a light amount of deck cord. This small node branches out to two other charges at the opposite end of the initiation point. One tree simply has deck cord on it. This other one is special and has deck cord and a stick of emulsion explosive wrapped with it. We will see if this will have any additional effect over the deck cord. As we move back from the first nexus point, more deck cord branches out to several more trees. One charge is another deck cord and emulsion explosive setup. The other two are simply deck cord rings like the other trees, both with different amounts of deck cord wrapped around the trunk. We then got back several hundred meters from the blast site so we can set up the electrical firing circuit and then set it off. Fire the hole. Time for some gratuitous slow motion. Recording the blast at just over 1,000 frames a second shows an impressive explosion. The massive amount of deck cord produced a very theatrical blast that looks great on camera. Beyond that, a ton of trees still remain. Looks like the deck cord clearing method is not as effective as Hollywood depicts. Well, that was a hell of a bang. We did, that was a couple hundred feet of deck cord, probably 300 foot more than that, I'd say. We wrapped a bunch of stuff around a lot of these trees and turns out that it actually didn't. So I guess we could call it movie myth busted um, for that you could do that. Now, this isn't to say that it's impossible for you to knock down trees with deck cord. Like if we were to use, for instance, this is just 50 grain. If we use like 100, 200, 400 grain deck cord, 
that would probably be able to do it. But using this regular 50 grain deck cord, we were not able to bring down any of them except for one tree. Looks yeah. like it went down. A few other ones we could push over. And even the ones that had the ready prime charges on there, those right there didn't get knocked over on their own. They're damaged. They took a lot of damage. We'll walk around and check them out. But um, it definitely was not something where we would be able to clear. If this was a we need to clear it out to make an LZ. It definitely would not have re, uh, resulted in a clear area you could actually land a bird on. So with this right here is where we initiated the blast at. And you can see the damage that it caused. This is, uh, the other trees have similar damage. And what it did is it got the bark here. It really stripped that off and then down into the hardwood that's in there. But it definitely um, damaged it. But again, not catastrophically. And this one even looks like it has a rotten channel going down it. So crazy crazy yeah. strong stuff still yeah these uh we satch trees are no joke so this is the one that we actually did take out with the deck cord we had a huge amount of it wrapped around I remember this one because we also had it running over to another tree and this was kind of like the grand central station just so to say of uh deck where we probably had 50 60 feet wrapped around that if not more and so this one did work but unfortunately it's the only one that worked even the uh we'll go check out the ready prime ones and show y'all what the charges that were actually mounted on a tree did by this a branch off i think it was kind of weak too yeah but man it's disappointing yep. it's done all right so with this one we had a rapid deck cord and the ready prime around it and it didn't break through it caused a whole bunch of damage we probably would have gotten a better result if we would have put something there to be like a shape charge basically put a thing of water that would have directed mm, the energy back neat. towards the tree because it's going to take that path of least resistance and again that's speculation on my part that would have enhanced the effect but i don't know if necessarily that would have taken it out uh, so it still caused damage but even then we had a uh, 0.42 yellow yeah, caterpillar there oh. <laughs> 0.42 pounds of high explosive that was put right up on it and you can see that the tree was still able to survive is the is this kind of gashes you think that was the ready, ready prime was right on the, on it probably i think that's how we had it and so it i mean it, it's it's not doing very good but i think it's still going to survive we'll have to come check on it in a few weeks all right so this one right here actually worked really well it's got a really well defined uh cut in here let's see if we can oh you got it there we go. I'm like Paul Bunyan, basically. Yep, so I guess we can say that we kind of got, I guess, 1.75 of them, because it's still got a little bit on there, but this one right here, well, it's we satch, so we'll probably sort of find a way to survive. <laughs> Gotta hate this stuff. But we managed to knock it down almost all the way with the explosives, so I don't really know what the difference was. We didn't record like the specific amounts we used, right. but it worked on that one. And it really stripped some of these, just yeah. bare. Brian, not Cody, decided to demonstrate his mighty strength and add one more tree to the body count. That cow can hear you doing it. Got a cowboy. Yeah, it's down. Whatever. After several <laughs> minutes of him wrestling with the tree, Brian, not Cody, finally won. So, like we said earlier, apparently the myth is busted, or at least the movie myth is busted, that you can always use deck cord to take down trees. Again, there, there are circumstances where it probably work. If we had 200 or 400 grain deck cord, that'd probably take it down, but we showed that the 50 grain is not necessarily the most effective way of knocking down trees. I was surprised. Yeah. Still so, all right. boom. Well, hopefully y'all enjoyed this. We'll be doing plenty more stuff with explosives, and we'll see y'all next time here on Ordnance Lab. And thanks again to Dustin for coming out here and having fun with us. Fun stuff. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.